Hello everyone, Danny here today to talk to you about Holly Black and Cassandra Clare's series, The Magisterium. This is a really good book series that if you read the reviews, the reviews can really throw you off. For, for some reason, the vast majority of the written reviews on Audible want to compare this to Holly or compare this to Harry Potter and and they go through and they explain in their opinion why it reminds them of Henry compare part of it I can see I mean you you've got the young boy Caleb Hunt who's a magician and he goes to a school to to train him to use his magical abilities he's got to defeat the enemy of death but <laughs> Otherwise, I don't get it. It's nothing like Harry Potter. The Magisterium, the school he goes to, is nothing like Hogwarts. It's not even close to Hogwarts. I, come on. There's no ghosts. There's no suits of armors. There's no pictures that talk to you and move around, stairways that move. It, it's underground in a set of caves. And, and in, instead of, you know ghosts and things like that you deal with elements and elementals and things like that the magic system is totally completely different than the magic system in harry potter there is no you know secret hidden world of witches and wizards that where they have a quidditch world cup you know where where they have towns where the muggles are kept away and only witches and wizards live. None of that at all in this book. It, it just, it, it's, if I was the authors, I would actually be upset and offended by those people comparing me and my writing to Harry Potter because it is so very different. There, there are not dwarves and, you know, the... It doesn't have, you know, Harry Potter has a kind of a fun, whimsical feel at it. There are, there are books that, that go a little more dark and a little more intense. But overall, part of the reason that, like, Disney will make rides that are based on Harry Potter is because it kind of has that, that fun, almost whimsical feel. That's what draws us in and makes us want to go to Hogwarts. I mean, dude, who doesn't want to go to Hogwarts, right? Who doesn't want to fly on a broomstick and play Quidditch? There's nothing like that in this one. This one is, is darker and it's it's more intense. It's really good. It's, it's not good enough that it becomes one of my favorite series. It's good enough that it becomes a series that I really enjoy and enjoy enough to keep and enjoy enough that I will revisit the books. But like Harry Potter... When, when Harry Potter came out, the book this one keeps getting compared to, Harry Potter for the longest time was my absolute favorite book series. Harry Potter has now been eclipsed by Cal, Cal Cade's book series. And I, I did reviews on both of the two books in that earlier, so you can go see those if you're curious as to what that's about. This is not good enough to become a favorite. This is not good enough. My favorite book series... They're series that I listen to on an annual basis. Every fall, I start into the Harry Potter series. When I'm done with the Harry Potter series, I go to Kel Cade's series. Sometime in the summertime, I'm going to listen to the Divergent series. Those are my three favorite fictional audio series from Audible that I found so far. I do have other books that I like as much or more, like Lloyd Alexander's The Chronicles of Prydain, but they're not on Audible. Audible, if you see this, that please get Alexander Lloyd's The Chronicles of Prydain on there. This is not good enough that it's going to be an annual read. This is, or an annual listen. This is good enough that I'm going to listen to it maybe every two, three years. It, I'm going to enjoy it. You know, you've got a young man, Caleb Hunt, who does not want 
to be trained in magic. He does not want to go to the magisterium. He fears the magisterium because his father has taught him to fear the magisterium and his father doesn't want him going. So he goes to what they call the iron trials where he has to try out and everybody else there wants to get into the school. Now, nobody knows what it is out of all the other people. Some of them do, but most of them don't actually know what they're trying out for. One kid thinks he's trying out for pony school, you know, but everybody wants to get accepted to this school. He doesn't. So he does everything he can possibly do to blow the trials and get rejected and has exactly the opposite effect. Gets accepted into the iron trial. There's, there's a scene where his dad does something to where you're not sure if the dad is actually trying to kill him or if the dad is, is just giving him something. Could be either way. Then it, it, he, he learns about chaos, which the chaos is equivalent to dark magic, but it's, it's not truly dark magic. They end up adopting a chaos ridden wolf and it's a good pet. As the series goes on, he gets friends who are chaos magicians. And rather than the magical world fearing and rejecting these chaos magicians, the magical world sees them as their heroes and their salvation. So there's not a true, you know, in, in Harry Potter, this is another way where I, I don't see a comparison. In Harry Potter, the dark wizards are dark wizards and you're, you're taught about defending against the dark arts. There are the dark arts. Well, chaos magic isn't necessarily a dark art. It's just another form of magic. There are five books written. Three of them are on Audible. The last two are not. The third book ends with a real serious cliffhanger. The, uh, the, the two authors have done a really good job of putting cliffhangers in the book and a really good of uh, in the previous books and a really good job of putting twists and turns where you think you've figured out what's going on and then something happens and you discover I was wrong. That's not what's going on. That happens a lot in this book and that's the way the third book ends with this big cliffhanger that leaves you wondering what exactly is going on but for some reason audible has yet to hopefully they're they're in production and they're being recorded i really hope audible if you look at the reviews audible's got enough input from people telling them hey we want the other books so hopefully audible is paying attention to that and they are getting recorded and audible will soon have the audio version of those books. If not, you can go out and buy them. They are out there. I unfortunately do not have enough time to really sit and read a book. That's why I do the Audible books because I, I have plenty of time to listen to audios as I'm driving, but I don't have time to just sit and read a book for my personal enjoyment. If you have any comments or feedback, please send it my direction. If you like my channel, Please subscribe and have yourself a very wonderful day. Thank you.